there's um, a pattern of brain activity that emerges before you make up your mind that tells us which way you're going to decide. It seems that uh, there's a lot of unconscious brain activity going on that is shaping your decisions and that your consciousness comes in at a very late stage. What our experiments reveal is that um, there's like a mechanism unfolding, a deterministic mechanism that leads up to uh, your decision at a later point in time. Professor John Haynes explained, what our experiments reveal is that there is a deterministic mechanism unfolding that leads up to your decision at a later point in time. Remember what Carl Pribram said? That our brains mathematically construct hard reality by relying on input from a frequency domain. If we put these brain experiments together with Pribram and what we know from quantum physics, the conclusion is inescapable. Your brain first receives a hologram in wave frequencies downloaded from the field. It then translates those waves into particles to create your holographic physical reality. And then it sends that reality out there for you to perceive and experience. You remember how a hologram is made. At the end of step one, we have an object stored on the holographic film in wave frequencies. To get that object to pop out as a hologram, we need to do step two. Therefore, here's what we're talking about in terms of the human brain and our holographic universe. If we consider that the field is like one giant, actually infinite, piece of holographic film, with every possibility already contained in it. In other words, step one of creating the hologram has already been done. Then what Pribram is talking about is a new step two to get our holographic reality to pop out, where wave frequencies are downloaded from the field to the human brain, translated into particles, and then projected out there to appear as our holographic physical reality. Or, as Pribram actually said it, our brains mathematically construct hard reality by relying on input from a frequency domain.